Hi, and welcome to the Health and Wellness Network. I'm Vanessa Peng. No one likes it when they lose a tooth, but we've learned there are easy and relatively painless solutions to the problem. Dr. Blake Perkins from New Image Cosmetic and Family Dentistry in Vancouver, Washington is back in studio to offer his expertise. Dr. Perkins, so what are the options to restoring a missing tooth? Generally, there's about four things you can do with a tooth that's missing. The first thing is absolutely nothing. You can leave the space there. Uh, the second thing you can do is what's called a removable partial denture. And that is kind of like a retainer that comes in and out that has a tooth in the place of the missing tooth. Uh, the next best option is what they call a bridge, which is basically three dental crowns connected together in one piece that is cemented in and holds that space and, and replaces the tooth. And finally, the best option is a dental implant. Then how do you decide which option best suits a patient? Uh, we have to look primarily at a couple of different things. It's, first of all is, you know, what are the patient's desires? Do they want to have something as close to a natural tooth as possible? Or, you know, does their budget force them into some kind of different option? So there's several things we have to look at. Okay, so what happens? What are the consequences if you don't restore a missing tooth? Uh, the most common consequences of just leaving an empty space are uh, shifting of the teeth on either side of that space. The teeth can lean in. Also, the tooth opposing that space has a tendency to drift down over time, which can cause problems with the bite and which can cause a, a problem in restoring that area later on if the patient then decides that they want to do something down the road. And finally, the bone itself, if it does not have a tooth in that area or an implant, something that puts pressure on the bone, uh, it can over time also decrease and shrink down. Dr. Perkins, thank you for your time today. You're so welcome. And thank you for watching the Health and Wellness Network.